Hey guys, how's it going today? Welcome to the channel. Random Andrew here. Got a random mom right here. We just did something really awesome we're going to get to real quick. And a mystery sister who never wants to be on camera anyways. <laughs> you want to say hi? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so as you're aware, my mystery sister's dog, Ping, I've been trying to get some help through the channel, or at least some attention for the GoFundMe thing. The GoFundMe kind of went go funked, And my mom, uh, random mom, started a separate fundraiser on Facebook, right? It was originally through Facebook. So really fast, actually a lot quicker than I would have expected through Facebook. The funds have been raised for Ping to be able to hopefully get the tumor removed. Now the thing is, when Mystery Sister got the quote to have this tumor removed, it was a third of the size. You know, like you, you were saying you think it was 50% smaller. I honestly think it was smaller than half that size. But the thing was, it was a quote for having the, the tumor itself removed. I don't know if that's going to be dependent upon the size. But the good news is, Ping, Ping, over here, Ping. Okay, well, we'll move the camera then. Big old Ping here is going to be going in and seeing the vet, hopefully today. But at least now the funds are there and things can get on a roll for big old Ping here. Yes, she's a ginormous sausage with legs, but we still love her. <laughs> but I wanted to give you guys the update on that, being that I have been asking about the GoFundMe thing. So, hooray, Peng gets to go in today and progress gets to be made. This is very important because we really love our pets. You know, I've got two cats. My sister's got cats. My mom's got a little bit of everything. She's, I think she's trying to open a zoo. <laughs> and... Uh, we get really attached to our pets and when this kind of thing goes on it is it is having a member of the family in distress you know what i mean so yeah anyways on with the vlog gonna go out in a little bit and see if we can't find something to do maybe get the nitro out finally okay so now of course you know i'm at the end of park ave and if you don't guess what i'm at the end of park ave see there's fairview street bridge the usual Walmart shopping cart that I have to drag it, that I have to drag out the way. I'm gonna put it right over here so it's out the way, and then we got a truck to try. I'd rather make a little bit of noise and move that over there than end up hitting it. Makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, I just did a test fire of this over at the house. It's pretty much ready to go. And I'm gonna set the camera up as good as I can. If not, I'll try some one-handed RC and so I can film. Not the easiest RC to one hand RC, guys. Through the brush. That's just letting off the throttle right now. <laughs> I think something's got to be set. That's not right. Basically slowing it down with the brake. Well, what just happened there was more throttle linkage issues. You see how I've got that slip collar on the back side. This uh, keeps bending. The actual little lever the, the rod's attaching to keeps bending. And then when I go to give the brake, it's sliding that right up and through there. And then it gets stuck in a full or at least half throttle position. So rather than waste the rest of the nitro in the tank, I'm gonna walk all the way back home 
fix it, and I might come back out again in a bit. But at least I got a little bit of something to show you guys with the caldera today. And ideally, guys, what I want to do is have this thing running 110% before I really try and make a filming day with it. But when we do, it's going to run perfect. This thing will be bulletproof when I'm done. Well, I went back out after fixing that little, what was that, a slip collar issue. And all I ended up doing was just straightening that flange out a little bit more, put the slip collar back on, and it was at a better angle that it wasn't trying to bend or anything. So that was easy until that slip collar came off mid-drive and the truck was stuck at about three-quarter throttle. And all I could do is just kind of steer it to slow it down and then again stick my foot out and stop it. You just got to kind of do it. Dedicate to it. It's only a little truck. It doesn't hurt. So fix that again. Put a different kind of slip collar. It's more of one of those little square brass ones. Anyways, it holds a lot better. It's working a lot better. And then I had a retrack issue happen. I'll show you that and then we'll call it quits for today. It's in a receive vlog today. You can see that piece there that I've added on. And you can also see it's a lot dustier and dirtier. It's going to need another clean up. But before it gets cleaned up, i got to take it apart again. See at the back of the motor, you can see all that oil kind of mess back there. That whole rear plate come loose again under the retract, which also caused the retract to stop the recoil. Does that sound better? Cause the recoil to stop recoiling. So the motor's got to be pulled again and you know by now I'm getting quite used to doing it. So give me a day I'll have it back together. And yes it is kind of a pain in the butt to always have to be fixing one thing or another on that but you know what it seems that it's about equal so far with some of the other trucks. The harder I drive them like Clifford almost every run something breaks. And on that note, I'm almost thinking of trading Clifford for something faster, something brushless. I've got a lot of work into them, so if I decide to do so, then yeah, I think it'll be worth it. And it'll give us something different to show on the channel. And on that note, yeah, it, like I said, it's an RC day today. Some days when there's nothing much else better to do, it is the thing to do. But for now, I think... I'm going to call it quits for today's vlog. I don't know if it was a big one or not. Did my best to finally show you some of that Nitro Caldera. I really do like the Nitro RCs. They're a lot of fun. Thanks for watching today, guys. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your support. If you're not yet subscribed, please do me a huge favor. Subscribe to the channel. Not an easy thing to grow a channel these days. Click like if you enjoyed today's video. And share if you do that kind of thing. Again though, end of the day, end of the vlog. Think positive, stay positive, keep a smile on your face. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Vlog over.